One time I had to catch alligators, and uh, then when I was down at Liberty, and mm-hmm. and uh, so I've got a brother-in-law that is fascinated by reptiles, and he knew I was catching alligators sometime, and he wanted to come go with me, so he came down, and we loaded up, and went down to his catfish farm. Uh, they had these ponds with them. They f- fed those catfish every day and they had what I call creep feeders. They'd have a, a deal out over the water with a lot of feed in it and it had a rod run up through the bottom of the paddle that extended down into the water and the catfish would bump that paddle and agitate the rod and the food would fall out. Okay. And there'd be a big mass of catfish there feeding and the alligator would just come cruising through with his mouth wide open and get a load of catfish, you know, and then turn around and come back. So. He had an alligator in two or three or four or five in this pond, pretty big pond. So my brother Randall Bryan and I went down there in a 16-foot flat bottom, as a Cajun would say, aluminum John boat, <laughs> and uh, with a trolling motor and whatnot on it. And so I had this little headlight that you put on your head up here and had a little square of six-volt battery in my hip pocket and the wire had been frazzled and broken so it was kind of short. <laughs> Got two little terminals of screw, you know. So we caught one little alligator and, and tied him up. And the way he did that, we'd take inner tubes and cut big rubber bands, you know, just across the inner tube and you catch the alligator and pull his back feet up and tie him and then you walk down his back and mash his head down. So we were in the boat and I saw a big red eye and I said, Randall, there's an alligator. And so we, he's running the trolling motor. And I said, okay, I got, I got a shovel handle with a coyote snare on the end of it and a rope tied to the thing so if I drop it. Anyway, I'm up on the front of the boat and I said, okay. I said, we're getting close. And I said, cut the motor. And we go silently gliding up to the alligator and I loop the alligator. Holy cow. I couldn't hold that alligator. It was jerking and it carried on, you know, and it jerked that shovel handle out of my hands and went to the bottom and, of course, I had a line on it. So we, the thing kind of calmed down and I pulled him up to the boat and uh, it's laying right beside the boat like this and I can see that it's longer than half the length of that boat. <laughs> so, but it was very calm. And I told my brother-in-law, I said, Randall, I'm going to, I'm going to tie its feet while it's in the, in the water here. And so I reached over, got the back feet, and the alligator threw its head up on the side of the boat and just rolled over in there with us. <laughs> <laughs> and business picked up. No, <laughs> so I retreated to the front of the boat and with the only light, which had a short wire, and I had to kind of hold my head back and I hollered at my brother-in-law, pull his head to the back of the boat. And all I could hear, he was falling. Oh, my ribs, I hit him on the motor and this and that and the other, you know. And the alligator opens his mouth about this wide and says, (laughs) So I I backed up just as far as I could get. I had one foot here and one foot here. I was about to abandon ship. And I hollered at my brother-in-law. I said, damn it, pull his head. And the alligator said, "Ah." (laughs) and uh, about that time, the alligator starts to turn around to go to the back of the boat, but he went over the side, and we didn't get eaten up. So we went on and got it out. It's nine and a half feet long. We got it out on the bank, and I tied it up, and we took it out. So my brother-in-law was a big Rotarian, and he had, you know, those folks lines and whatnot yeah. they've got to have a speaker and so he, he wanted me to come to my head and talk to his rotary club which i did and the first thing when i got up there I had to pay for my meal by speaking and uh, the first thing some gentleman in the audience says tell us how randall saved you from the alligator 